Hey there, what's going on everyone? Daniel here with RTA Outdoor Living. Today we want to discuss a question we get from a lot of people that we help out. A lot of people that we work with on the front end of an outdoor kitchen project want to know if they can incorporate a non-built-in appliance into their kitchen. We know you may not be familiar with what a non-built-in appliance is, so let's define that for you up front. Appliances that are designed to be built into an outdoor kitchen are categorized as built-in appliances. A non-built-in appliance would be any type of an appliance that is not truly designed to be built into an outdoor kitchen. There are times these appliances can be modified or put into an outdoor kitchen, but that is not the true design of the appliance. Some examples of non-built-in appliances would be cart model gas grills, blackstone griddles, and some smoker models. There are three main factors that we would like to discuss when it comes to incorporating any appliance into an outdoor kitchen. The three factors are construction, design, and safety. Let's start with the construction side of an appliance. Since an outdoor kitchen structure should be designed as a permanent structure, you want to ensure that the appliances you're putting into your island are also constructed out of materials that will last as long as your island structure. True built-in outdoor kitchen appliances are going to be constructed out of premium grade materials like 304 stainless steel and are built to last as they usually carry lifetime warranties as well. On the flip side of things, non-built-in appliances are usually not constructed out of materials that are gonna hold up in the long term. These appliances usually carry shorter term warranties. What this means is you can usually expect to service or in some cases have to replace appliances in the years to come. And if you build your island around temporary appliances and have to replace it, it could lead to some serious problems down the road especially if you're unable to find the same model to replace it with. This could lead to having to make alterations or adjustments to your island structure years down the road. And trust us when we say this, this is not something you're gonna wanna deal with. Now let's talk about the design of these appliances. When we refer to the design of the appliance, we are really talking about the way the appliance is designed to fit into the island. Built-in appliances that drop into your island are usually going to have flanges that rest onto your countertop, which make them easier to install into an island. Built-in appliances also have specified cutout dimensions that will be provided by a manufacturer, so there will be no guessing on the dimensions on how to incorporate the cutouts or appliances into your island. Non-built-in appliances aren't going to have flanges that rest on your countertops, so this makes them much more difficult to install. Also, since the manufacturer isn't designing the appliance to be built into an outdoor kitchen, there won't be any predetermined specifications to follow. This means you will have to figure out the dimensions and get creative on how to incorporate them into your island, which can lead to expensive mistakes being made. It is also important to know that incorporating some of these appliances into an island will likely void any warranties for the appliance and a lot of manufacturers will explicitly say not to build them into an island structure in the owner's manual. The third and final factor is safety. We're really referring to the ventilation requirements of an appliance. Built-in appliances have determined specifications when it comes to proper ventilation to ensure that leaking gas can escape from an island in the event of a gas leak. Non-built-in appliances don't typically have ventilation specifications for building the appliance into an island, so this can again become a guessing game and could put the safety of your island at risk. One point we did want to make is that non-built-in appliances are still good appliances. But the point of this video is to understand whether they should be built into an outdoor kitchen or not. And since the appliances are not manufactured with the intention to be used in an island structure, it can create challenges and issues for you in the future, which is why we would not recommend incorporating them into your outdoor kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for future videos. And if you found this content valuable during your research, let us know in the comments section below. I'm Daniel with RTA Outdoor Living, and we look forward to helping you host the moments that matter. See you in the next video.